Uh, next speaker is Riti Chatterjee. Uh, she is from the Bose National Center for Basic Sciences in India. And she will be presenting about the particle detector and mirror in GUP modified vacuum. So the floor is yours. Uh, we'll be yes. two minutes warning before the end. Okay. Uh, so in this lecture, uh, we will in this lecture, we will consider relativistic atom field interaction in the framework of generalized uncertainty principle. Now, we know that uh, a quantum theory suggests that uh, a consistent theory of gravity should lead to a minimum observable length. And such minimum, it, intuitively it can be argued that such minimum observable length should modify Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Now, generalized uncertainty principle, GUP, is one such candidate uh, of modified uncertainty. And actually, a uh, lot of studies have already been done in this direction, like uh, um, GUP has been studied in context of black hole thermodynamics. In case of gravitational waves, simple harmonic oscillator, quantum optics, and um, particle and box, and there are a lot of papers in this direction. So in this talk, our aim is to study, uh, explore the effect of GUP in case of a two-level atom and a mirror, which are in relative acceleration, and they are sitting in a background quantized scalar vacuum. So my this talk is based on this paper published in Physical Review D. And here it is me, and this is my collaborator, Dr. Shunandan Bangopadhyay, and this is my PhD supervisor, Dr. Professor Orchon S. Mojumdar. Both of them are faculty in my institute. So now before focusing into my mm, mm, the system, I will consider. So let us look into the mm, let us look into the mm, basic definition of GUP. So this is the uh, GUP modified uncertainty principle. Here you can see beta is the uh, GUP parameter. And uh, here beta zero um, is a constant and this is Planck as the C is the speed of light. And if you put beta equals to zero here, you will recover Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Now this expression leads to this commutator algebra. And also, this will this algebra will also modify the dispersion relation we consider in relativ relativistic quantum mechanics and quantum field theory. So that will also get modified. Now, now as I have told earlier that we will consider an atom and a mirror in presence of quantized scalar field phi t z and the canonical uh, operators of phi t z satisfied the uh, uh, gap modified algebra and now we have an atom um, that is uh, that has two energy levels ground and excited g and e and energy again value minus uh, uh, plus minus omega zero by two now in this uh, work we will remain confined in single mode atom field interaction uh, so you can think of a very basic web guide one dimensional web guide now, as I have said earlier that um, GAP will modify the dispersion relation. So it is implied that that will also modify the Klein-Gordon equation. And this, this is a modified Klein-Gordon equation. Again, if you put beta equals to zero, you will get just simple one plus one dimensional Klein-Gordon equation. Uh, now, since beta is a very small parameter, we can, we will handle this term perturbatively and we will solve this equation for our system. So uh, in, in our system, we will consider two, case, two cases. So first one is here, uh, there is a mirror in the Minkowski spacetime at z equals to z zero and an atom is accelerating along z direction. So here is the transformation law between two frames and because of the mirror, we have this boundary condition phi t z zero equals to zero. Now, as I have said, I, we have perturbatively solved this equation uh, and this is the solution of the field. Now, using this, we have written the atom field interaction Hamiltonian. This is the expression and we have used this to calculate the excitation probability of the atom using standard calculation. 
uh, like now here, uh, um, the omega zero is the atomic transition frequency and here new is the field frequency. You can see we have defined omega delta tau, uh, this uh, um, uh, terms here. Now we have kept this notation omega zero and mu separately so that we can understand in this expression um, where the atomic frequency is, con uh, atomic excitation frequency is contributing and where the field frequency is contributing. Now from this expression, if you put again beta equals to zero, you will get the um, normal atomic excitation frequency when the Heisenberg principle uncertainty principle holds. And this is this was calculated by a um, recent PRL paper, uh, Zvidzinski, Benjamin, Fulling, and Page. Uh, so let us compare these two expressions. Uh, so here uh, we can see that uh, the this um, distribution factor remains unchanged that is governed by atomic frequency. And the gap has introduced a damping factor here. And here the field frequency has modified by this term. This is the gap de dependent coefficient. And the rest of the terms are, and this is a position dependent term, term that depends upon mirror's position. And rest, rest of the terms are independent of Z0 that they depends upon beta. So they are more or less very small constants. Now, let us consider our next system that is um, an atom static at z equals to z0 and mirror is accelerating along z direction. So now we have um, atom is in the Minkowski space time. So um, we have this transformation law between atom's frame and mirror's frame and mirror is moving along the trajectory z, z bar equals to zero. So again, with this, we solve the um, deformed Klein Gordon equation perturbatively. And so this is the field uh, solution that is observed from mirror frame. Now we substitute the coordinate transformation. So this is the uh, field observed by the atom. And again, we use this field to calculate the excitation probability of the atom in the second case. So this is the expression. And again, if you put beta equals to zero, you recover the result calculated by Zvidzinski and his collaborators. So here also you can see that uh, GAP has introduced a damping factor that is different from the previous case. And here the distribution has changed and the frequency here has been modified by GUP here. This is the formula of mu bar. Uh, so here it is normal, the field frequency and here it has been modified by GUP. And here the terms are same, the position dependent term, omega zero, Z zero by C is common in both cases. But here we get another additional position dependent term introduced by GAP and this depends upon field frequency. So basically, uh, and this term as mentioned by in this paper, this term, uh, such position dependent terms are related to Fano interference. So this, um, this as an interesting term in this expression. And these three, these four terms are basically, again, uh, beta dependent factors, which we will treat as constant phase factors. Now, we will discuss the significance of our result in context of uh, equivalence principle. Now, equivalence principle have been studied in context of quantum electrodynamical system that is here, this is the paper. Uh, so um, a static uh, detector and moving, uh, uh, moving cavity and moving detector static cavity. In our case, it is moving mirror static cavity and static mirror moving cavity, uh, sorry, moving mirror static detector and uh, static uh, mirror moving detector. So um, now for comparison, we will now put omega zero equals to new. So here for convenience, I have written the expressions here. So you can see that if you put beta equals to zero, that is the absence of GUP. So basically P1 becomes equals to P2 up to some constant phase factor inside the sine function. But when the beta, beta is not, not zero, then the, we see the significance, significant differences here. First, through the damping factor, the damping factors are different. And here it is the frequency dependent um, um, factor, distribution factor. 
and here it is has been modified by GUP. And here, basically, the position dependent term you can see from these two expression here and here they have same position dependence. If you make omega zero equals to nu, but here the position dependence are not equal because of this term and also this frequency. So that is getting modified. And here the phase factors will also dif uh, differ a bit. So basically here- To me, huh? warning, sorry. Okay, okay. So basically in this talk, we see that um, the violation of equivalence occurs and um, it, it, the total the violation comes through the uh, GUP. So basically, and now we know that beta, the factor beta is very small. So they, they are not possible to measure experimentally, but a lot of experiments have been performed in this direction that measures the bound on beta. So if we can see that if an, such models can be simulated, and uh, mm, now if we can calculate the violation and also, mm, so we can compare that with the bound of the beta. And we, from this expression, we can state that mm, the violation when the bound on beta will impose and bound on violation of equivalence in this case. So in conclusion, we have studied mm, uh, at relativistic atom field interaction in presence of a reflecting boundary in a gap modified vacuum. We have calculated um, transition frequency in two cases, that is atom is accelerating, the mirror is static and atom is static and mirror is accelerating. And with those results, we have um, considered the, how GUP is affecting the results. And finally, we have, uh, explain the significance of our result in context of um, equivalence principles. So with that, I conclude my talk. So thank you. Thank you, Riti. Perfect. Uh, so we have time for a question. If there is, okay. So that's a here time. Uh, thank you very much for a nice talk. Uh, I'd like to know uh, about the uh, GUP. Uh, you assure me, so GUP breaks the Lorentz invariance, right? In your equation of motion of the field, right? Uh, not uh, not in, true? In some cases it does, but uh, I mean- uh, could, you, could you show me your wave function, a uh, mm -hmm. modified wave function, uh, yeah. maybe the, no, 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 more, so I'd like okay. to see an uh, equation of motion with a few, uh, including beta factor. Maybe mm -hmm. so in the previous slide. Okay. So? Uh, no. This one, this one. Solution. Equation three. Equation three. Equation okay. three in your slide. Equation mm -hmm. three, maybe next one, equation three. three yeah. uh, this one. Mm -hmm. So this does not look in a Lorentz covariant equation okay. three, right? But mm -hmm. uh, uh, my question is, can you extend the GUP relation, which does not break the Lorentz covariance? If okay. you have such a, uh, if you consider, uh, mm -hmm. uh, my question is, do you have an, uh, another GUP relation which does not violate Lorentz covariance? So equation three can be extended to respect the Lorentz covariance. Is this um, possible so, or not? Um, there is one, like if you, um, uh, there is another thing like um, alpha equals to two beta square relation, but I think that is also, breaks Lorentz covariance. Oh, okay, I see. Thank you. Good. So thank you again, Riti. Um,